If you're looking for a webcam with a built-in microphone so that you can do studio work at your desk, then this might be it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda in my hand here. I have something that looks a lot like the Marantz turret. It's actually built by Marantz, but it's called the AVS, which were AVP for Alien vs. Predator, but it's not. And this is a lot cheaper than the turret. Now, I don't know that Marantz still makes this, but one of the things that I've really liked about Marantz in the past, whether it's their studio microphones or the turret, man, they've been really high quality all around. Everything from the video to especially the microphones, I've been really, really happy with. Now, this is a little cheaper and it's under 100 bucks. I don't know if you can buy them new or if it's kind of new old stock. I found this like new open box somewhere, but I wanted to check it out because I thought something like this might be a good road companion. It might be great for improving your audio and visual quality at your desk without taking up a lot of space. I also want to show you that it comes with this little package right here. So you can see we have this yellow ring light in there, but it does come with some other lenses. But you can see here we get a manual. We also get some additional ring lights so you can kind of go with that cool white or daylight white we also get the power cable right here so single prong right there and then we also get this usb to usb c cable right here to plug it into your computer now the thing i want to show you here is it stands pretty tall you know 16 17 inches tall here it's actually fairly light this is all plastic up here but down here it has a little bit more weight i'm kind of thinking this plate down here might be metal you can see we have little silicone feet so it should dampen any vibration or noise and not move around a lot on the back here we have all the plugs so we have usb 1 2 we have the usb c it says 2 pc right there so that's where you're going to plug it in then we have an aux out so you can do monitoring with your headphones and then the power port right there. The other thing I want to show you is there's another three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the side. So maybe that's the monitoring. Now, if I look at the base here, this is what makes this kind of interesting. So there is a microphone right under here. And especially if this is just sitting in front of you, I think this is a great place. You know, you might be working on a laptop. You might have your computer monitor right here. So I'm kind of thinking that this is kind of picking up in front of you. It's probably a little bit of a condenser mic, although it's probably not going to be as good as one of those studio mics that's sitting up right in front of you. You know, a nice high-end cardioid mic. Now, right here, we have the little turning knob here for headphones so you've got volume control i guess that will be your monitoring and you can listen to the other person through that we also have a mix right here so between pc and your microphone you so you can mix that we also have a button right here i think this is for muting the microphone and this is for turning on and off the camera and then right here we also have a little brightness dial so that you can control the ring light up here now the other thing i want to show you about this is what you can see is that the webcam kind of floats in here so we can angle it up and down you might say well why not side to side well you can see right here this thing will turn and man it actually turns holy smokes almost all the way around it's like an owl head on this bad boy so the cool thing about this is i can almost film someone else sitting next to me or even almost across from me yeah pretty darn close yeah, that's pretty amazing. And then I can angle this down. And what we have here, I think, is a 1080p webcam. So we'll definitely check out the quality of this. Changing this little ring light lens is as simple as pulling this out. I think that's all we got to do. So it's going to give me a warm white light the way it is. You actually might not even need to put in a lens there at all. It just has like this white lens around an LED ring light there. And I really like that because that is something that most people are missing. Most people have a decent webcam, maybe even a decent microphone. But when you get on a Zoom call with them, the background is all lit up because there's light streaming in from the windows maybe the overhead lights and then their face is really dark and so they look like a silhouette something like this is going to make a really big difference so let's just plug it in and see what the light looks like all right so i went ahead and plugged it back in what you can see here is we have little back lights on these buttons so if i hit them you can see red means mute when the camera is off it will be unlit like that but we're going to turn that on now and I also want to show you that when the camera is on, we get these little blue lights, which is a great indicator that it's on, you know, before you do something embarrassing, like dig up there for the boogie or something. Now I can hit the camera button and turn it off and you know the camera's off. That's actually more indicator lights around the camera than pretty much any other webcam I've ever seen. So that's pretty nice. And now what we can do here is turn on the ring light and you can see how bright that gets. This is a very, very well lit room right now. So I have it on maximum brightness, but you can see how well this is lighting me up. Ho ho, hello there. But I can turn this down. So I just love the fact that I've got this little knob here and I can turn it up 
turn it down and it's always gonna be facing me because it is anchored right to that camera lens itself. So let's record some video and audio with it and see how it works. All right, so I've got the Marantz AVS set up on my desk right in front of me here. It's actually eh, a couple feet away from me because I have my keyboard and stuff in front of me where I might put it, but the footprint is pretty big. So wanted to have it back. It's actually kind of right up against my monitor. So this would be a great place to actually use it because what I love is it's kind of floating maybe about two thirds of the way up on my monitor. So if I have a Zoom call or something going on, a Teams meeting, I can put the people and the picture right up there and it'll look like I'm looking right in their eyes, deep into their soul. You know what I'm saying? just right at them. All right, the other thing that I am doing here is I am recording uh, via the microphone that's in the AVS here and, you know, not talking directly into it. So hopefully it's picking me up. If I lean into it, it'll probably make me a little louder even, but you don't want to see that. So what I want to do here now is just show you what it's like filming with no ring light on because I think a lot of people are used to using whatever webcam they have, whatever microphone they have, and this is kind of what it looks like. In fact, this might be better than the setup they have at home, right? I've got a pretty big monitor, 49 inch monitor here that is illuminating my face. So I'm actually probably getting twice as much illumination as most people from the ambient light on their monitor. However, we have a ring light here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. It's at its very lowest setting, so you probably can't tell any difference, but I'm just gonna go ahead and crank it up to its, oh my gosh, to its brightest setting. And now I am <laughs> a little washed out, I will admit. So I think that's actually too much. Oh, all right. Get in there, maybe right, th right there. Okay. I'm actually right at maybe about 60% illumination. Well, it looks pretty good. I mean, you know, considering the subject of the shot. But I like that. In fact, because my camera is adjusting and focusing on what's illuminated, actually the background looks even a little lighter. So if I went a little brighter like that, again, need a little powder, get the shine down off my face. But hey, that doesn't look that bad, right? So that's what you can expect. This is the audio quality that you can expect from the Marantz AVS. This is the video quality you can expect from the Marantz AVS. I love the fact that I've got that ring light here so I can crank this sucker up or, you know, dial it way, way back. Now, I also want to prove that I am using the AVS and a lot of times you might need that <coughs> cough button. And I am going to actually hit the mute button on three and bring it back on six. So I'm gonna to count to 10 and hopefully I should just be gone at that point and hopefully the microphone kicks right back in on seven. So here we go, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. So hopefully the mute button worked, which is nice because it's right there, dead center of the pad. So you always know where it is and hopefully the uh, microphone mute works as well. So you've got everything you need. Ring light, good HD camera, uh, microphone button, headphone jack for monitoring, small footprint for your desk, and you can swivel this guy around just like this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Swivels. Kind of like me after I get a few drinks at me. So if you want to pick up the Marantz AVS, I still think you can buy them new from a lot of places. I haven't seen them listed a lot, but I actually think it's a really good device, a really good integrated all-in-one, and I'm a little surprised more people don't have them, especially from Marantz, who the equipment has been really, really high-tech. Looks really nice, too. So, serious piece of kit, as we might say. Hey, if you want to pick up the Marantz AVS, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than.